Hello, it's Beer again. I hope you're all good. So by now you should know what I'm doing, going through each and every reverb machine on the Strangman Big Sky, doing a bit of playing and uh, just, just demonstrating how good it is because it's really good. In case you've only just tuned in and you've only just seen uh, this one video about the Big Sky, um, check out my channel. Um, there's, there's a few other videos up there of uh, the Strangman Big Sky. There's going to be all sorts of stuff that I've each individual reverb machine and um, I've done a tech spec overview and an introduction to the pedal itself so um, yeah check it out uh, but today we're looking at the swell reverb what Strymon say about the swell reverb is that the swell machine brings in the reverb gradually behind a dry signal so it means that you can almost play you kind of you know you play your part and then it would swell around the notes um, it's kind of like what they say is it's for subtle evolving textures like having a volume pedal on the wet signal. Alternatively, you can choose to have the dry signal swelled into the reverb for maximum ambience and atmosphere. So it sounds like it's a very cool, very creative sounding reverb, good for writing music. Anyway, let's go and have a look on the close up camera and see what we've got with the different parameters. So, low end again is parameter one, it seems to be the case on every patch, which is great. And on here you can see it says rise. Now what rises is how quick the reverb swells in. Um, so at the minute you can have it, I think it takes four seconds to swell in, or it could be 0 0.08 seconds to swell. Um, so that's cool. Modulations is the same. So mix would allow us to have the dry signal at full, which is roughly about here. And then like Strymon said, is you could have the dry signal swell in. Um, Beyond there, you'd have more of the reverb than you would the dry signal. Uh, Pre-delay and decay are self-explanatory, and we have, again, plus 20 seconds of decay on there. And the tone knob gives us high frequencies, acts as a high shelf. Now, if I go into the parameter here, I can see we've got low end, we've got the rise, and the mode here, it says we can, we can either choose between the swell being the reverb, the wet signal swelling, or the dry signal swelling. So I'll flick between those and we'll see. But we'll start with wet, and then the same as normal. If you want to go into detail on those, then please check out the tech spec video in the description below. Right, let's have a look. So, pop that here. Let's have a listen to this reverb. So you can hear how it kind of sh it's kind of sharp and it attacks the uh, it attacks the signal afterwards, similar to the plate and characteristic there. But I'm sure it's not throughout the entire uh, machine. That's just what we've got it set on at the minute. What's interesting to know about this particular reverb machine is that when I just strike a chord real quick, we don't get any reverb. But as soon as I hold it down. You can hear the reverb afterwards. It swells around the, the chord, which is nice, which means that when I start doing leady stuff, so. That's quite nice because it kind of acts on, it's almost like. A reverb version of Boss's adaptive distortion technology, which is quite cool. Anyway, let's have a look. Just the low end, less tone. Let's put the decay. Let's just give it loads of decay. Now, if 
I go back into the parameter and I change the mode to swell dry, let's see what that sounds like. I can tell this is going to be amazing, so I'll just tell you quickly what it is before I get taken away in the epicness of this particular reverb. So what's cool about this particular feature is now that I've got the volume of the dry signal on a swell instead of the reverb, uh, it acts just like I'm pushing down the volume pedal on my guitar sound rather than the reverb as it was before. Um, and that's just going to be great for ambience, so I'm going to go all out and just chuck the decay on full and just mess around. So. Let's have a listen. Uh, mix that, push that bad boy up. A bit more tone. Right. I think I found my new favourite reverb here. That's amazing, absolutely incredible. Um, having the dry signal on the swell is it just, it's like a dream sound, you know. Um, again, it could blend that with other effects, chorus would sound great on that. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of speechless really because it was that good and I could sit there all day. But for the sake of a retardedly long video, I'm not going to do that. But anyway, that is the Swell Reverb. Hats off, you got to try that one. Next, we have the Bloom Reverb, which is going to be quite impressive as well. So stick around, and I will see you soon.